What's up guys and welcome to my playthrough of one of my all-time favorite games, Life is Strange. Starting off here with episode one. Um, I'm going to try not to talk when uh, other people are talking, obviously, but uh, this is a very um, heavily story-based um, game and uh, changes based on your choices. And uh, you're going to see here in just a minute, it's starring a young girl named Max as the main character. There she is. Max Caulfield is her name. Where am I? What's happening? Yes, Max. Make it to the lighthouse. Please let me make so it. We'll be in control here in just a sec. And there we are. So, currently we are uh, in quite the heck of a storm. You're going to be able to see it as soon as we get over to the top of this ridge here next to the lighthouse. It is. And this storm is a um, very, very important plot point to this entire game. Look at that. Can you imagine like looking out your window one day and just seeing that? It's freaking horrifying. Maybe we're gonna come over here and trigger the next cutscene. Holy shit. Watch your mouth, Max. Ah, it was a dream. <laughs> that was so surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in So where we are right now is cool. a place called I'm Blackwell okay. Academy. It's like this shadow. hipster kind of um, art school. Now, that's what. Can you uh, give me an example of a photographer? She's there being a max. She's there being a wants to become a photographer. And that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. So here's another one of the main parts of the go, game Victoria. is we can well, interact with objects How around us to, to get more information about them and progress the, the story. This is your journal. Um, it's basically like, this, you know, your, like when your pause menu or whatever. I'll just uh, I'll flip through these pages. You can pause if you'd like to read. It's just some backstory about... Um, it's basically just uh, her diary, journal, whatever you want to call it. It's just some entries from Max saying about her uh, her days recently here at Blackwell. This is the character page. A couple other uh, your, your like cell totally phone text messages. Sad mothers and children. Uh, she saw and there's progress. You have to take right? a selfie here with your yeah, frankly, uh, very old school Shh. camera to keep Shh. going. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Har har, Sorry. you're hilarious, Mr. Jefferson. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max... Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portrait? And here's the next part of the gameplay, is you'll have choices you're asking when me? you're uh, in conversations with people, and think. based on how you, uh, you answer, know it can change, not, Max. you know, how is the game anybody progresses. anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created Daguerreotypes. And that is Victoria Chase, my number one most hated like character in this game. Totally you will find out that uh, she's resident bully, Sunday. basically. That's you'll uh, you'll grow to hate her. The Daguerrean process. Obviously, the teacher is Mr. Jefferson. Faces, He's like a, a renowned photographer the in the field. I can't the believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. 
I like it I'm sorry, there's cool. going to be a couple of those like pause hiccups throughout the video. My, um, I don't really have a, a professional recording setup, so it's going to be a little sloppy. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Oh, I see you, Mr. Jefferson. Don't worry. So now we can kind of explore around, um, get some more information. Here's the one of the next things. You can take photos um, as you progress throughout the game of random things. It's a picture. It's someone etched into the, the desk. It says Rachel Amber for life. Rachel Amber is another uh, character that we'll start hearing about. This is Kate. Hi, Max. She's a very prominent character throughout the story as well. Just She's just a kind of like you're not really your best friend, but you're you're friends you're friends with her. I think Victoria has already won the contest, as usual. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. And if you couldn't tell, she's kind of uh, Victoria's number one bully subject. Now I wish I wouldn't have. You're Kate. We love your porn video. Her. Yeah, real nice. You'll hear about that later as well. And there she is, sucking up to uh, Mr. Jefferson. Now we could talk to them, or we could I just leave. But they want to talk Don't to us anyway. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist from the Blah, amateur. blah, blah, don't care. Yeah, look at her freaking. Oh, Mr. Jefferson, I'll blow you for an A. Hate her. You didn't tell me how right, cute I looked yet. Continue on out here in the hallway. And coming up here in a sec is also uh, one of my favorite then things about this game is the soundtrack. The music is just perfect. I love it. And you're going to see a lot of um, a lot of the characters that you'll be interacting with out here in the hallway. Make sure I don't look like a total loser. Square Enix. Can't thank them enough for giving birth to so many great games. Don't not entertainment is um, yeah right there. They're also uh, responsible for Life is Strange. I thank them very much as well. But yeah, let's listen to the music. It's it's phenomenal. I love the soundtrack. Life is strange, episode one. So yeah, there's uh, Evan. He's not really that big of a, a deal. Over here, you got uh, Jake and Dana. That's Brooke. Shannon. Most of these are just kind of like side characters that you run into once in a while, and they have a little. Um, no, this is a. Remember Rachel Amber etched in there? This is her. She's uh, She's been missing for a while, but she's still a fairly important character in this game. Yeah, Juliet. She's one of the bigger ones. And, uh, one of my favorite uh, characters right here is uh, Samuel. He's the, the janitor. Love his character. He's so cool. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Yep, there you go, Max. Now, who would bother to write that crap? I hate Victoria Chase. Don't know who wrote that, but I feel ya. Hate her, too. <laughs> Tampon dispenser. It was a, some sort of Illuminati back there. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? 
guitar again for the little skip there. So yeah, let's just uh, wash up. This is what you girls actually do when you're a little upset. You just go to the bathroom and splash just water relax. on your face. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Oh, tore up a good picture there, Max. That picture is also pretty important when to the, the story. Closes, and the so is opens. this butterfly. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. No, you don't, Max. This is going to be quite the photo op for you. Enter Nathan Prescott. A very misunderstood character. It's cool, Which you will see throughout the game. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Fred, his parents. He's the, the rich family's you kid. Own this school. If I wanted, Prescott's I kind of a... You're the boss. They donate tons of money to Blackwell, and they have a lot of power. So what do you and want? And Chloe Price. I hope you check the perimeter, my as my step-ass would say. My favorite this whole game. Now, let's talk business. She's in one of the other you. main Wrong. characters. You got hella cash. You That's my family. Up with her Not yet, me. But oh, boo-hoo. Poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around Ooh, with. Oh boy. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. Yeah, Nathan's got a few screws. Hella more trouble also for this than hella drugs. A lot. Nobody I love it. would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Bang. Whoop. What's happening? And for those of you who didn't already know, that's the other gimmick of this game. Whoa. Max just what the fuck? randomly gains the power Ow. to rewind time. <laughs> There's no real, like, major explanation as to girl. why she gets this power, but that's the last and, and biggest um, part of this game. You get the ability to rewind time, and you use it in all kinds of situations. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Oh, shit! Whoop. Can you give me like an this one right here. We just broke our camera, but that's okay, because okay. we're a time crazy, lord, and we can well uh, just fix it. Can I actually reverse time? And you see, you get the ability to rewind time as for as much as that little squiggly bar up in the left-hand side of the corner. So you don't have, like, infinite power over time but more just like the last you know like 10 seconds or so you're able to rewind anybody and there we go our camera's fixed Max, don't freak out so let's uh, continue on the way it did before take a selfie and then get this game to continue on jefferson asked me a question if he does again i'll know this is for real kids call a selfie a dumb word i'm pretty sure you know it's for real already max and max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if Another that thing up here, uh, coming up in a sec, that's uh, kind of a really cool sure thing that they threw in is that since you're rewinding time, especially throughout conversations, if you get to a conversation that you've heard before, say right here, skip, you can just fast forward through it. I'm it's sorry, nice. but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me he after class. And I need time to save their need girl. Time, huh, Max? The process Whoa, to get portraits is sharp and style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Screw you, Victoria. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Yeah, let's rewind. He rewind too fast. There we go. Max, 
Since you've captured now let's our... give him the right answer. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. But and you can there learn you go. more when you actually finish You do that a lot throughout chapters. the game. Like, Max is so you'll go through a conversation and then you'll find out some information you that you could have used you know, beforehand. Contest, then you'll I'll rewind the and then where you'll be new answers by the art world. and dialogue options will open up for you. In photography. So, Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Let's see what nice Kate answer, has Max. to say. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, uh, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. And there's your proof that, uh... Obviously, the like time it. rewind affects everyone except you. <laughs> you remember, and no one else does. I do have to go, but we can talk. It'd be later such a cool power to have. I'll see how I feel. Every time someone Thanks, asks Max. me like, "What superpower would I want?" I would definitely always no who be able to control time. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> be able to stop Mr. time, Jefferson, rewind time. Can I talk to you be crazy me? awesome. Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse, Excuse us. Fuck you, Victoria. I'd never <laughs> let one of her. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't and another one more uh, coming up here in a sec. Right here, you can just hit the left bumper and it automatically rewinds exactly to whatever your last decision was. So, that's helpful too. Excuse me. Just quick little things that make your life easier that they threw in, which is nice. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Also, I love in this scene how earlier, I don't know if you guys heard, but he referenced Ferris Bueller's Day Off bathroom. by calling out Bueller, please, and then in the same scene, please. he also makes a John Lennon anybody. reference, don't which Ferris worries. Bueller also does. <laughs> so, thought that was a funny little connection. wonder if the developers meant to do that. Okay, Max, retrace every step. All right, let's see if we can save Chloe's I life. My face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around Let's with. Let's see what we can do. Ah, what are you big doing? red button. Come on, That's put that down. Tell I need a oh, hammer to break it. A hammer. Sick a hammer under the there. Yes, you there it is. <laughs> convenient this hammer is convenient. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass Break this they? real quick. Boom. And no there we way. go. Don't ever touch Chloe me Price has been you. saved from the wrath of Nathan Prescott. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? I need to get the hell out of here is what the Do fuck's not going on. Freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? And David that Madsen. Means you be outside. I had to use Another the uh, very prominent Girls character. Always use that excuse. Also, Excuse asshole. For, what? for whatever you're up to, your face is covered in guilt. Misunderstood, out. asshole. Then trip but on out of here, asshole, Missy, nonetheless. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone, and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Yeah, get out of here, David. No one likes you. <laughs> I'm very judgmental with the characters in this game. Alright, let's try and get out of here. And of course the principal's gonna stop oh, us. Max. 
Come back here. Okay, Mr. Principal. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or <laughs> have you always done be up something front. Every time the prince I had a nickel every it? time the principal said that. Well, Max, talk to me. And here's the final little gimmick of this game is these uh these moments they pop up multiple times throughout the chapters. It's the the screen gets all trippy like that, and it gives you two choices. And based on which one you choose, the game will start to play out in two completely different ways. But the cool thing, because obviously you have time powers, if you choose something and then you don't immediately like the impact, you can rewind time and choose something else. But I'm going to leave it up to you guys um, uh, which, which uh, direction we're going to take this. So we can either hide the truth and say nothing, or we can report Nathan for having the gun inside the girl's bathroom. So uh, let me know down in the, the comments uh, what uh, direction you think we should take. And uh, I will then uh, continue that on with the next episode. Um, we're still going to be in Chapter 1. Chapter 1 still a, a, a bit longer. Um, but there are five chapters total in the game. So uh, still got quite a ways to go. But uh, let me I'll tell you, it's, it's great. So the story gets it gets crazy. There's all kinds of twists and turns. And it's one hell of a story. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm uh, Pat Van Kooten signing off, and I'll, I'll catch you later next time.